Hi, so we have made a simple drag and drop here where we have our character and when I hit command return I can generate a Swift file. I can generate a Swift file and then drag my hat to my character's head. Um, the only issue is, well I don't actually have to drag it to his head. I could drag it to his hand or I could put it on his foot. Wouldn't it be nice if there was some sort of feedback or reward for the user when I did get it to touch his head? So let's add some action script to this file that would allow uh, the user feedback when um, something is being um, dragged onto another thing. Now, one of the first things, so you, you remember this action script from the last time. Right now I just have the start drag and stop drag for the red hat. Although in a previous video I gave you the entire code so that you could drag and drop the shoes. I'm just going to make a, um, I'm just going to add to the drag and drop of the red hat so that the user gets feedback. So what I want to do is I want to take the hat and when it touches this character's head, then I get some sort of feedback. Now I could click on my character's head and then modify convert to symbol. The only issue is I, I want when the hat is exactly here. That's when I want the feedback to occur. I don't want the hat to touch the character's head here and have the feedback work. Or, more specifically, I don't want it to touch this upper left-hand corner of this head and have it work. Instead, I really want it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little square movie clip here, just using whatever color I have, which is a gray with a stroke. By the way, to highlight it, I'm going to double-click it to make sure I get the stroke and the gray fill. Then I'm going to go to Modify, Convert to Symbol, and I'm going to call this Top of Head using camel, camel Case. And the next thing I need to do is I need to give this a property name. And in this case, I'll say Top of Head using Camel Case. But I don't want that square there, right? Like, that'd be kind of weird. Um, and obvious. I really want the user to just sort of place it on the character's head. Well guess what? With this movie clip highlighted I can go to my properties window, twirl down color effect, and do style, alpha, and bring the alpha down. So guess what? Now this top of head movie clip is completely invisible. All right, cool. Okay, I'm in good shape. This is what I want when the hat touches this thing. Then I want some sort of feedback to happen. Okay, let's go to my scene because I'd like to add some action script to, uh, to make all this work. So I have these um, event listeners that trigger a function. Uh, and basically the first function is whenever someone mouse is down on the red hat, start drag. And my second one is whenever someone releases the mouse, I want it to stop the drag. Now here's where I want to add kind of like a laundry list, right? Like this is the function of stop move. The first thing I want to have happen in here, so I'm just fixing my code a little bit, is when the person lifts up the mouse, I want the drag to stop. The next thing that I want to have happen is I want to have action script check. If red hat, which is the property name that I gave the red hat, hit test object, which turns blue because it belongs uh, to action scripts and it's a hit test object meaning if the red hat hits the top of head 
then do something, right? Oops, sorry, close parenthesis. If red hat hits the top of head, then what I want to do is I want the action script to say trace, which means action script is going to write to an output window. The hat fits. Semicolon. Else trace that's not where the hat goes. Great. So we're saying first thing, stop dragging that red hat. Then we're saying if the red hat hits the top of head object then trace or put in the output window the hat fits. Otherwise, trace, that's not where the hat goes. Let's test it. Okay. Command return. Here's my Swift. I'm going to drag the hat to the top of the head. Guess what? An output window appears here. If I drag it over here, hey, that's not where the hat goes, that's not where the hat goes, that's not where the hat goes, that's not where the hat goes. And then I go to the top. Now just something, the output window is actually only something you can see as a animate developer. So the next tutorial that I'll put up is going to be about how to make something more interesting happen uh, when you do the hit test object rather than go for the output window. In general, we test it using a trace, which is an easy way for a developer to check something, and um, then you can proceed to make it more interesting.